President Biden is facing growing calls to suspend his re-election bid. And he has temporarily paused his campaigning after testing positive for COVID-19. New reports from CNN and Politico say that former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi reportedly spoke privately with the president about his chances, telling him that the polls show he cannot defeat the former president and it could destroy Democrats' chances of winning the House if he remains in the race. For more on this, let's bring in Jaime Moore. He's a principal at the consulting firm Cornerstone Government Affairs. He's also the former director of the office of the DNC chair. Great to have you with us at such an interesting time. You know, it appears as though the GOP at the RNC are more united than ever, while Democrats are divided over the president and he's sidelined with COVID. How do you think Democrats should proceed at this very sensitive moment before a major election? Hey, Earl and Lena, Elena, thank you for having me. Uh, you know, here's the thing. Joe Biden said this before. 14 million people voted for him during the primary. And that's something we've really got to consider. And so as we talk about what happens next in this election, Joe Biden, the president, is thinking about those voters first. And one of the things that's been going around today, you know, former Speaker Pelosi, who we all respect and is sort of the godmother of Democratic politics, you know, I've talked to black voters and Democratic voters across the country. And yes, they care about the House of Representatives, they care about the Senate, but they they really care about what the next four years of a potential Donald Trump presidency looks like. And they they can't really bear it in some ways. Um, but but let's reality check that. Uh, the voters uh, um, who turned out during the primary, it wasn't really a contested primary after the president said he was running for reelection. Only one person uh, challenged him and did not have any support from the establishment. So. Everybody has acknowledged that it is President Biden's decision, really, about what he wants to do. But if he does decide to step back because the polls indicate that this is not the right strategy for uh, the Democratic Party, what happens next? Yeah. And, you know, that primary, others could have chosen to run against the president. And I think he cleared the field. So that showed a lot of strength at the time. Uh, if, if the president does decide to step aside, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that have to happen in, in, in pretty quick form. You know, one of the things that the vice president said today and, and, and throughout the week, they want to get back to the issues. They want to talk about things that Americans really care about and sort of put this behind the party uh, in some way. So if, if he decides to step aside as a candidate, you know, you got to quickly decide what happens with the nomination, who becomes the nominee. The vice president is clearly leading the pack and she's clearly qualified for that. Secondly, you got to figure out what happens with the money. How does the Biden Victory Fund, how does the DNC, how, does those, how do those entities transfer the fund in a legal way uh, to make sure that the party and the, and the campaign have enough funds to keep, continue? Uh, and then next, the delegates. You got to figure out how do you, how does Joe Biden release his delegates and so they can go on and support whomever the nominee is? Uh, and then lastly, how do you make sure that you are bringing voters along this process and try to make it as democratic as possible? Interesting times ahead. Jaima Moore, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you.